Bonjour, today let's have a look at the French verb to put, which is mettre in the passé composé, the present tense and the future tense. Okay guys, let's have a look at this verb, mettre. As I said, it means to put, as in to put on something or to put something on top of something. Mettre is used for this, but it's used in many idioms as well. Today I'm going to cover the simplest uh, way to use mettre, okay? So, what are we going, what are we, what we are going to do is conjugate it in the present tense. First, I'm going to teach you how to say I am putting or I put, okay? Quite simply. We have one way of saying that, it's je mets. Can you say that? Well done you. And then we carry on, tu mets. Il met. so he is putting on, he puts on, Elle met, on met, nous mettons, we are putting on, we put on, vous mettez, ils mettent, elles mettent, okay? Now you will notice here that though there is an S, such a, and two, we do not pronounce, even the T actually, we do not pronounce the T, except for nous mettons, vous mettez, which are the endings for nous and vous. And il and l, remember that if it has e and t at the end, it is not pronounced en but e. Okay, so we say il met, elle met. It's very important. Okay, now if I were to use an example using this present tense of the verb mettre, it will become like this. Nous mettons nos manteaux car il fait froid dehors. Nous mettons, we are putting on. What are we putting on? Nos manteaux, our coats, car, because, il fait froid dehors, it is cold outside, so we are putting on our coats, okay? Now, another example could be, elle met le livre sur l'étagère, so, so it's no longer she's putting on something, she's putting something on top of something, so, elle met, she's putting le livre, the book, sur l'étagère, on top shelf, okay? And what I, I'm going to do and I've decided to do today is that I'm going to use these two examples and later on use exactly these examples for the passé composé and the future tense so you can see how we transform the verb to mean a different tense, okay? So, mettre, je mets, tu mets, il met, elle met, nous mettons, vous mettez, il met, okay? Quite simply, she says. Now, mettre in the passé composé is another story completely. Why? Because mettre is a third group verb, which means it's highly irregular. When you want to use mettre as its past participle, it no longer looks like that, but it looks like this. Ding! Mi. Okay, so mi is the past participle of the verb mettre. So you're going to say, oh, I don't know what a past participle is. It does not matter. What you need to know is that it is that word you use when you use have before. So we have Put, put is the past participle, okay? We have slept, we have eaten, eaten is the past participle, okay? So in that case, mettre is me, okay? So the way you conjugate that, and I've said that so many times before, use the auxiliary verb avoir for this one, avoir in the present tense. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, and add the past participle. And there you've got the past tense, the passé composé, an action that took place in the past and is gone done over with. So, here we go. J'ai mis, I have put or I put in the past. Tu as mis, il a mis, elle a mis, nous avons mis. Vous avez mis, ils ont mis, elles ont mis. Now, in order to be very confident with conjugating a verb in the passé composé, you need to know the verb avoir or être in the present tense really well. If you're not confident with that, then please refer back to my many lessons on the verb avoir and être, okay? One of my lessons is called the auxiliary verbs. You might want to have a look at this. It's useful. Okay, so using my same, very same examples in the present tense, back in the passé composé, we want to say we have put our coats because it's cold outside. We would say, nous avons mis nos manteaux 
car il fait froid dehors. Nous avons mis nos manteaux car il fait froid dehors. So suddenly, I know that the action took place in the past. Nous avons mis, we have put, we put in the past our coats on because it is cold outside. So using, uh, she puts a book on the shelf. We want to say she put a book on the shelf. Elle a mis le livre sur l'étagère. Okay? Elle a mis, she has put or she puts the same in French, by the way. Okay? So this is the way we conjugate a verb in the passé composé. Now they are conjugated differently depending, depending on the um, uh, group they belong to. Okay? But you always use the auxiliary to have or to be, regardless. Okay? What you need to be aware is what is the past participle of that verb in order to be able to conjugate the passé composé. Okay, so we've seen the present tense, the passé composé. Let's have a look at the future tense. Now, the future tense is slightly easier. Why? Because we have special endings. The way in English you use the will model verb, you know, to tell me it's a future tense. In French, it doesn't work like that. We use special endings. For, for je, it is ré. For tu, it's ra. For il, elle, on, it's ra. For nous, it's rond, for vous, it's ré, and for il and elle, it's rond. Once you know these special endings, and that works for all the verbs, okay, and you know the stem of the verb you want to use, then you put the two together, and that creates a future tense. So, je mettrai is I will put. Tu mettras, you will put. Il mettra, he will put. Elle mettra, she will put. On mettra, one will put, nous mettrons, we will put, vous mettrez, you will put, ils mettront, and elles mettront, is they will put, okay? So it should come naturally to, to you. You should try a verb, put this special ending and see whether it works, okay? Of course, cross-refer this with the proper conjugation from internet or from a book that you may have on conjugation in French. Now, We've got it. Je mettrai, tu mettras, il mettra, and so on. Let's have a look at our two examples that we have so far used. How would you say we will put on our coats because it's cold outside? Yeah, have a look. Nous mettrons, nous mettrons nos manteaux car il fait froid dehors. Okay, quite simply. Okay, apply the rules. Very mathematical in a way, French, when you know the rules. Okay. Elle mettra le livre sur l'étagère, l'étagère. So she will put the book on the shelf, okay? Elle mettra. What I'd like you to do is have a look at the examples and, and maybe put them together here and see the difference and how we've transformed, transformed the verb to tell someone that we are um, talking in, in a certain tense, okay? It's very important. Okay, that's it for me. If you want to know how this verb is conjugated in the imperfect and conditional tense, have a look at learnfrenchwithalexa.com and you will have access to the support guides for this lesson as well. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so already. That's it for me. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bisous, bisous.